At Ash 2023, um, a lot of abstracts got presented um, and a lot um, of abstracts were clearly um, looking at some of the longer term follow up data, um, which is essential to figure out if these novel treatments continue to work for our patients. Um, I think in the CLL realm, um, I was excited about the Elevate TN study showing long term outcomes of acalabrutinib. Um, um, and the net is that acalabrutinib continues to show durable outcomes. Um, it's therapy uh, that's given indefinitely. Uh, there were no new uh, safety signals that were seen and majority of patients um, still remain on acalabrutinib. So I was very excited to see that data. With regards to cell therapy, there was certainly a lot happening in the field. Um, and in terms of um, uh, follicular lymphoma, there were uh, follow-up data that were presented with uh, Tisacel as well as mosinutuzumab. And then there was um, longer follow-up data that was um, shown with Lysacel. Um, uh, I think the net is that all of these three agents are quite active in follicular lymphoma. There's now a three-year progression-free survival that was um, uh, shown in these clinical studies at longer-term follow-up with Mosin giving a three-year PFS of about 43-45%, uh, Tisacel in the range of 53%, and then I think Lysacel, which would be the newest entrant in this field um, or the subtype of follicular lymphoma, the overall responses and the complete response rates were um, upwards of 93%. Um, I think these are all exceptional outcomes in um, heavily pretreated follicular lymphoma patients. Um, so I look forward to uh, further follow-up on all of these studies. Um, in terms of um, other agents that were also um, combined with uh, antibody drug conjugates, I think I got most excited about uh, mosinutuzumab plus polituzumab. Um, this was a combination of a CD20 by specific T cell engager and a CD79B antibody drug conjugate. And these data were presented in the relapse refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma cohort, as well as the relapse refractory mantle cell lymphoma cohort. And I think in both of these studies, these patients were heavily pretreated and they showed some really good outcomes. The short term follow up clearly um, makes us want to wait for long term results. But I think these two um, doublets that were investigated in these subtypes of lymphoma show a lot of promise. Um, and I certainly also uh, was thrilled to see data based on MRD driven strategies, especially in mantle cell lymphoma. Um, the data that was presented by Dr. Kumar um, with the Bovin strategy, um, which was uh, Zanabrut, Nebobinutuzumab, and Venetoclax uh, driven by MRD, I think um, in a really difficult patient subset of mantle cell, which is the TP53 mutant mantle cell lymphoma, it showed some exceptional outcomes. They're expanding the study to include some additional patients, um, but I think um, the field looks really promising with most of these approaches being chemo-free, um, so clearly a win-win for everyone.